Welcome to Beer and Politics. Today we're going to discuss why you should be fired if you use the phrase, criminals don't follow the law, as a pro-gun argument. This argument is used to explain why there's nothing we can do to stop gun violence. So let's put it in a different context to see just how lazy this argument is by looking at it from a business perspective. Imagine a company had a major data breach and you were hired to resolve it and prevent it from happening again. Ask yourself, would I be fired if my response was, there's nothing we can do. Hackers don't follow the laws. Of course you would. So let's just take a look at what would actually happen. First, we would review our current security policies. Security policies are rules surrounding how a company protects its assets. Please keep in mind that rules are extraordinarily similar to laws. In this example, perhaps the company didn't have a security plan and policies. Let's take a look at all of the things the company might do to protect its data. First, let's look at a potential employee. They may have to undergo background checks, not just any background checks. We may talk to their friends, neighbors, family, and former coworkers. There may be a financial background check and drug screening as well. Assuming the potential employee passes the background check, let's move on to their first day at work. They will probably have to enter through a locked door. Opening the door may require a badge, a retina scan, and a verification from a guard. Not necessarily an armed guard, but could be. And let's just take a quick moment to note that potentially armed guards had to go through the same rigorous checks as the employee, plus qualify to use the weapon. Once entering the office, the employee will have to log into the network using a unique username, a complex password, and perhaps some other secondary authentication method. The employee will have access to certain systems, certain parts of the system, with certain privileges to those parts. Each area that the employee has access to has undergone an approval process with multiple levels of approval. The employee may need to use a different username and password for some functions. Additional access will have to undergo the same approval process and review. Now, let's look at the data itself. It's probably behind a locked door, of which only some employees have access to. These employees have also undergone the approval process and resides in a locked cage. Various data may be encrypted, located behind one or more firewalls, on a system featuring antivirus software. The data, the employee activities, and the security plan and policies may undergo regular audits performed by internal teams or external companies. All this is to protect data from criminals or potential criminals. But our answer to protecting our loved ones is, criminals don't follow the law? Congratulations, you're fired. Until next time, remember, it's just beer and politics.